Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, April 8, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin. And as you can see, we have fallen quite a bit today. We are trading underneath the 20 exponential moving average, uh, heading towards the 50 down here at the 30. Uh, 53,000, sorry. Uh, if that breaks, then we could head towards the bottom of the bullish band at uh, 52,000. That should probably be as far as this will go in this, uh, basically, this uh, breakdown. Technical indicators, as you can see, they're all uh, becoming bearish. Stochastic, the MACD has crossed the signal line, becoming bearish. CC, stochastic, the same. CCI is the same. And RSI as well. 50 moving average has basically been the bottom of this market for uh, many months now and uh, we could expect a bounce from the 50 moving average before going back towards the top of the bullish band or the back, back of this range at around 60k so let's look at ethereum so ethereum basically um, has fallen apart today we have fallen towards the 20 exponential down here at uh, give it or take uh, 1882 Technical indicators are all turning around for this cryptocurrency. So we could see this fall significantly further to the downside in the next few trading days. Usually when we get, uh, if you look at the historical patterns, usually when we get overstretched, when we get outside of the bullish band, it takes uh, a few days uh, before this basically uh, builds momentum basically to the downside. We can see here we basically fell quite a bit, then rallied and then just a bank to the downside. So we have not had this massive rally like uh, previously. This is a nice rally and a pullback was expected, but to fall 25% and so on, um, that probably will be uh, too much at this, king, at this stage. But towards the 50 moving average, that is, that is, um, that is possible. But this pullback is um, quite big, so we could see quite a lot of choppiness here before we fall further. We got fairly over ahead of ourselves in this rally here, and that's why we basically see this pullback. Technical indicators are all turning around. MACD has almost crossed the signal line, still in uh, bullish territory. Stochastic is turning around, CCI is turning around, and so is the RSI. So let's look at Cardano. So also here in Cardano, uh, this was a major warning yesterday that this could fall even further. We did fall, uh, we did rally back towards the top of the bullish band at 1.26, and then we fell way uh, towards the 50 moving average down at uh, 1.14. So, this is a very uh, tight range here. Uh, but technical indicators, they are all turning um, bearish at this current stage. So, we could see this fall even further. If the 50 moving average breaks, then we could head towards the bottom of the bullish band here at 1.07 and then well beyond that. Rallies from here will most likely find resistance at the same area where we have um, tested these rallies in recent days. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin also basically fell apart and this was uh, very expected. So this was a massive rally way, way, way outside of the bullish band. And now we're just basically snapping back towards the middle of the bullish band. We're trading, uh, we nearly hit had the, towards the 20 exponential, but didn't really get there. And then we pulled back. So this probably won't be the last we will see of this breakdown at this current stage. We are inside of the bullish band now, but usually when this takes that off to the downside, we see this either fall towards the middle, which is at 195 at this current stage, or all the way down to the very bottom at 164. Technical indicators are turning around. MACD is still bullish, um, uh, still bullish, but becoming flat. And CCI, stochastic is flat, but the CCI is really turning around here. Still above 100, but this is an aggressive move to the downside. And so is the RSI. So we could see this fall towards the middle around 196 or the very bottom, which also is the previous lows here and here, give or take 172, all the way down towards 164. So let's look at NEO. So NEO, well, rallied all the way up towards 67 and then just fell apart. 
So at this current stage, uh, we could see this fall towards the uh, previous highs here or just above that 20 exponential around 50. That should offer quite a lot of support. Break below that could open the door all the way down to the 50 moving average at the 42. Technical indicators are all uh, basically turning around at this current stage, except for the MACD. So the MACD is above the signal line and uh, in bullish territory. But uh, when you have these major pullbacks, you will probably see within the day or two, this MACD turning around across the signal line. And that will basically pull this even further. So we just got way ahead of ourselves. Uh, uh, we were outside of the bullish band for a really long time. And now today we have this major pullback. So we could expect this to pull even further before going higher. So let's look at the dash. So this has not been a good day for the cryptocurrency market. Also here in the dash, we rallied from give or take 185 all the way up towards 287. So nearly $100 in only two and a half weeks. And now we're basically pulling back and now we're trading at 147. Technical indicators are turning around. We could see uh, support down here at the 50 at 225. And if that breaks, we could head all the way down towards these previous lows at 183. So let's look at from. So this is a, a good example of how the cryptocurrency market usually behaves. You have these massive rallies to the upside and then just collapse a loss of nearly 50% uh, in basically two days. So we can look at the Fibonacci retracements for this and you can see the reason why we probably uh, pull back a little bit is because we're getting close to the 50 uh, Fibonacci retracement. So down here at 0 0.098, there should be quite a lot of support. But just above the 20 exponential, we have the 61.8 and that should offer uh, significant support. So usually this, uh, they, uh, this price action pulls back towards the 50 or the 61 and then go ha goes half and then continues down. We haven't seen that yet, but uh, we have seen that in, for example, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies that you have this massive rally, break towards a half, rally towards a half, and then another major rally, a breakdown towards the downside. But at this current stage, we're trading above the 20 exponential. And as long as we are above there, which has been major support for a really long time, there we're still in basically in this uptrend. But we got way ahead of ourselves here. So technical indicators are turning around. Stochastic has crossed the signal line. CCI is uh, going underneath 100, becoming bearish. The RSI is now underneath 70. And the MACD is basically uh, falling apart here and will most likely cross the signal line within the next day or two. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.